Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial in my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to use open form results and convert it to a readable format in Fluent so we can exploit it in uh, ANSYS Fluent. So let's start. So this is an empty folder. I'll open a terminal. I'll go to tutorials of open form then I look for I look for tutorial of elbow so it is here in incompressible icofoam elbow I copy it in my empty folder And here we have folder of elbow so here we have uh, for cleaning our folder and here we have the commands to execute in order to get results so let's start now so these commands I'll uh, explain it one by one so here we have the mesh. The format of the mesh is .msh. It's a Fluent mesh. We will convert it in order to get a folder here called PolyMesh. So for the first command to convert the mesh, it's Fluent mesh to foam. So we will go and convert our mesh. It's Fluent mesh to foam elbow here uh, the mesh included in this folder is 2d mesh this is why we are executing fluent mesh to foam and not fluent 3d mesh to foam command so okay here we have our mesh converted so it's included here in polymesh we can visualize it using powerful So here we have the elbow. So we have different, this is this wall, this wall, the velocity inlet is here, the other velocity inlet is here, pressure outlet is in the top here and we have front and the back mesh it's empty so here let's go and see the boundary conditions included in the zero folder so we have the pressure here and we have velocity For, uh, for the pressure, it's zero gradient in all uh, the boundaries because we are not applying any, uh, any input of pressure excepting the pressure outlet, this boundary, because it's an outlet, we can't assign uh, zero gradient in it. So we are, uh, we are specifying that it's fixed value and it will be uh, explicited later so for the velocity we have uh, in the wall it's non-slip zero gradient in the outlet wall also the other wall and front and the back it's empty because we have 2d mesh and for the velocity inlet 5 and 6 so here we have uh, for the velocity inlet 6 it's here 
we are introducing three of magnitude three meter per second following the y direction so it will be uh, introduced in this direction in the y direction for the velocity inlet five it's here and we will introduce one meter per second it's a velocity of magnitude one meter per second in the uh, in the x direction so it will be included in this direction so this these are the boundary conditions of this of this case we can go and check the constant transport transport properties this is the viscosity and in systems we have control dict here is the solver starting from the lattice time uh, stop at end time which is 10 and writing each time step So for the schemes, it's by default kept in uh, this way, just to show you. And the solution also, the solvers precised for pressure and velocity and piezo algorithm used to couple velocity and pressure. So now we can run I'll uh, close bar phone, then we will run ICO phone. So here we have our results. We can check it in bar phone. So we have here the velocity of the flow. So here we have introducing the fluid with the velocity of three meter per second. And we can see its distribution in the domain. Here we have velocity of one meter per second and the inlet is a little bit bigger. So here we can see that it's equal to one. Then in the, uh, the boundaries, it's like uh, tends to be equal to zero so uh, this is the results we have pressure and we have velocity so now what we need to do is to convert these results to readable format of fluent in order to do so we have this file from data to fluent dict so here we have a file precising the pressure and this code is specific to each variable uh, for the pressure it's one velocity two temperature three we can remove these lines because it's uh, like a standard file we can remove it since we have only two variables pressure and velocity to convert but if in your case you need for example to convert uh, epsilon k alpha uh, alpha one or h or temperature you uh, you need to include these lines and to include in general your variable and then your the id of the variable so we will delete it then i will execute the uh, the command from from there to fluent so here i have fluent interface i have the data of zero from zero to ten as here then for the uh, the other command of the uh, the mesh we can uh, we can use foam mesh to fluent in order to convert the f the the foam mesh to fluent format to uh, obtain the dot msh let's 
let's execute this command form mesh to fluent so here we have it i have it in fluent interface folder with all the results the other results here we have it in basically we we have the mesh we have the mesh we can uh, also just copy it without executing this command but in cases for example you don't have initially the fluent mesh you have only the foam mesh you can execute this command flu uh, foam uh, sorry foam mesh to fluent in order to get the fluent mesh so hope it's clear in your mind so what i need to do now is to copy this folder and try to open it in fluent in order to show you how to uh, manipulate it in fluent so here we are opening fluent so we need to uh, open the mesh at first then import data of open form so file read mesh and we will go and look for our folder fluent interface elbow.msh so we can display the mesh here we have our elbow in 2D. So now we can import our data on this mesh. File, read, data. Then here uh, you can see that we have all the time steps from 0 to 10. We will choose the last time step. Elbow 10. So it's uh, done. Let's check results. Create contour new. Check all the boundaries. Then choose here contours of velocity magnitude. Save and display. So here you can see that we have the same profile of velocity as we saw in open form. So here we have the data of imported from open form but we are only visualizing pay attention we are only visualizing the data the results of open form we don't import the operating conditions in fluent because here we imported uh, the mesh and the data we didn't import the case so in fluent the case uh, includes the uh, the operating conditions the physical parameters and so on but here we just imported the mesh and then we read the data on this mesh so here if we want to uh, push the calculations further we can do that because for example here we can check the boundary conditions uh, for example the velocity in let six it's uh, defined here by default pressure outlet while it's not pressure outlet physically it's uh, inlet of velocity so uh, if we want to push the calculation further we need to set the case here and set the materials the model the used models also the uh, the boundary conditions to set this as velocity inlet also this and the controls and other uh, parameters so this is all for the uh, conversion of foam uh, foam data to fluent hope it will be helpful for you thank you for watching and see you in next video